Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is all about Dutch drills, how to do them and should you add them to your training. All right, today we're talking about Dutch drills and going to Holland all the time for glory. I got to see a lot of the best coaches in the world from Holland use this type of drilling. One of my favorites to watch has to be Nick Hemmers from Hemmers Gym in Holland. And watching him and Marat Gregorian throw these types of Dutch drills is fantastic to see. And we all know how good him and his team does in the kickboxing world. So let's talk about how we do it. So let's get mad here. Now, when you do Dutch drills, all right? Now this is where the, the controversial side could it be? You're holding your hands as pads, right? Now, as a beginner, it can be very difficult, but it could also be very beneficial because you're learning to hold pads, you're learning to do combinations, you're learning to flow. In some points, you're learning to block kicks, you're building armor, so there's a lot of good things, but it can be confusing to a beginner who's learning how to, one, maybe do a jab cross on pads, and then I might say throw a jab cross parry, which is now same side, and then again, I could ask for a wedge, so it becomes complicating to a beginner if you're asking them to do too much, so just be be careful with that. But the benefits of this is the amount of speed and power you can get in your combinations. And it's back and forth. When we do pad work, I have to wait for the three rounds to be done before I can go. This back and forth gives you a good workout. So with the boxing, you're going to think of it just as little hand mitts, okay? So Matt can throw jab, cross, hook off my hand. Boom, boom, boom. I'll come back. Back and forth. Right? Add a low kick to it. We take the low kicks. Okay? So we start building here. Right? Now, you'll see, low kicks we take on the leg. Hands are traditional uh, way we would hold for boxing. Now, when we go to body kicks, okay, this is where we use the Dutch block, right? Because it's fast to block. I don't want to hurt my opponent where I'm going to lift my leg up. It's a little slow. So let's go jab, cross, hook, body kick, right? So we go here, boom, 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 and I use my Dutch block. Back and forth, boom, 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 yes. Now, okay? So you can see that power, the intensity. You can, my breathing rate's going up. You can get a great workout with that speed and intensity. And think about what it does for your countering. As soon as Matt's done throwing his combination, boom, I come right back into it. Boom, he comes right back in. So I have to be aware, ready, fast, fast counters, fast, de fast defense. Make sure my hands are up. So you can see how intense it can be. Now, when it comes to knees, all we do is we put our hand in front. So let's say Matt throws a jab cross switch knee. Boom, boom. Yes, I'll come back. We just use the hands. Yes, boom. Stay off of this, we throw a right body kick. Yes. You can see that flow now. All right, so we're intense. We're hands, hand positioning. Good defense, up and down. Now, the last part would be how to throw body punches. Now, with the body punch, what you like to do is fold here. So I'll just hit the arm. So I can throw hook to the head. Matt holds his hands here. I'll reload to the body. He folds it. So let's go one, two, three to the head, reload body. So one, two, three, reload body. Matt comes back. Come back. Maybe a rear uppercut off of that. Yes. So you can see how we build, we develop, and we can get that reaction back and forth. So now that you know how to do it, this is where the fun of Dutch drills really come to play, right? When I got to do them with Nick Hemmers in Holland, the fun part of it was not let's get a workout. It was more friends wanting to create combinations together. We got good flow, good rhythm, and the way we built the combination was adding one sequence each. So I'll add one or two strikes, they add one back, and then at the end, we had a fun sequence going back and forth. One of the fun parts for me was predicting what the other person was gonna do. Say the combination ended with a left hook, most people are gonna think Bazooka Joe's gonna throw the right low kick. So you play the game, it's fun, and at the end of it, you get different combinations. Now, one of the things I do recommend adding when you do these drills is playing a little bit with tempo and rhythm. So I might go jab, cross here, boom, boom, rhythm, hook, uppercut, hook, so go, boom, 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 
boom, boom. So you can start building rhythm, tempo, and add intensity. And this is where these types of drills can be very beneficial. Remember, the cardio aspect, fantastic. The countering, the speed of getting your hands, catching, defending, and coming back. Very beneficial, okay? You do three three-minute rounds of this, your conditioning is going to do great. Where I said it limits itself a little bit is you're learning to not really catch punches defensively, and it can get confusing as a beginner. But I think it's important, even as that beginner, to learn the flow. Just maybe separate Dutch drills from defense never do them on the same day where it gets confusing otherwise I think add them see get creative with your combinations mix head kicks levels be creative change that rhythm the tempo the levels and have fun with somebody grab a partner touch them up and say hey let's create some combinations together all right so use Dutch drills add it to the bazooka kickboxing curriculum and make sure you head over to bazookatraining.com this way you get the online training for me and I just posted a video on Dutch drills so you can get extra training there as well and remember it's only less than ten dollars a month okay you get in there we now have an archive library of over 400 videos and every single Monday you get brand new videos and they're separated into different categories home workouts bag work sparring drills and we have a tutorial section if you need to clean up singular techniques we have everything there for for you we have our channel sponsors hayabusa by going to hayabusa fight and we have perfect sports nutrition using code bazooka 20 gets you off your supplements they just got some new flavors and they restocked all their stuff my personal favorite has to be their protein their altered state pre-workouts and their branch chain amino acids which i'm going to chug right now after this video so like subscribe share and we'll see you next time at bazooka kickboxing and mma Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.